Hello to YouTube, this is me Bash Buttons here. This is actually SimCity right now, right? What you're looking at is Chernobyl. Yes, I did say Chernobyl. This place is a pretty much a waste ground, okay? I mean, if we look at the radiation map, yes, it's covered in radiation. Now, some of you might be looking at this and you might not know what this series is about or anything. It's called Road to Recovery, because pretty much, eventually, I'm going to get rid of all this radiation. Now, that might just look completely unlikely at the moment. However, it's going to happen. Okay, all this radi radiation is going to disappear. Now, there's actually a way you can make this disappear, but I've pretty much got to pay to get rid of this because there's a DLC thing that came out and you can get rid of this by, like, plopping these things down everywhere and it, like, soaks up the radiation and makes it into air pollution, um, which wouldn't bother me too much. I mean, I've got a ton of ground pollution. I mean, look at this. Right, because I built factories all over here because sims cannot actually move into these places because of it's really unhealthy and um, therefore like cause the radiation and stuff like that they can't move in but you can actually put down like coal mines, you can put trading industries in, you can put pretty much anything that's not really anything that's like a kind of industrial thing can pretty much be put here, I mean I've got my water pump station actually in where, where the ground pollution is completely covered. I mean that can't be too healthy right? But I've got filtration pumps. I've also got the sewage system in here, I've got the garbage right behind it, stuff like that. How did I get all this radiation? I was pretty much, I pretty much had um, two massive power stations, nuclear power stations. Um, I mean I had a university, everything was going super well until one of the giant lizards spawned about here and it ran towards this garbage dump right here and it knocked the the two nuclear power stations like funnels over blowing them up causing this massive sink in this city right this city bombshelled completely bombshelled the, the population dropped like super crazy population drop and um, it took ages to recover. Now you might be looking at that 72 million. Well, you're losing 55,000 per hour But this city is my strongest city at the moment Okay, I mean I had to get money from the other cities that I've got I mean this is a five city region right here I had to get the money from the other cities and send them to here to get this city fully recovered because it, it took a lot of money to get this city up and going now you might be looking at this, and you might be going, whoa, 52,000, how are you losing 34,440 dollars or simoleons per hour on site of specializations? Now the thing is, you might be looking at it and you're like, whoa, no way is this city going positive. There's 72 million there. That 72 million is made because I've got a electronics factory, a processor factory, a processor factory, I've also got um, a load of tro uh, trade ports, I've got this um, smelting factory, I've got this um, coal mine, and I've got this oil thing, that's a, that's actually about to run out, so it is. I've also got another processor factory, I pretty much spammed, there's another one also, an uh, electronics factory. So, I pretty much spammed the place with electronics and stuff like that because I felt like there was still a whole ton of things to be pumped out the ground from here. Right, I'll go onto the map and I'll show you exactly. Um, no, that's the wrong map. Why did I go onto that one? Um, coal. Right, so this the coal's beginning to die down. You can see there's still a little bit of coal here. I mean, it's, it's, it's still getting stuff, you know? The ore, still quite a lot of ore. We need to still work on that and get out the rest of it. Um, we've got oil. I mean, there's still a good bit of oil here. But it's just I need to kind of adjust it and all that stuff. Um, the trade map, right? I'm pretty much trading a lot of different things. I mean, I'm I'm selling off some processors because I'm making so many processors and stuff like that. I've also got the... I'm turning some of them onto computers. I'm turning some into TVs and then I'm selling the TVs and stuff like that. And it's crazy. I'm pretty much selling everything that I make. And that's how this city is staying afloat. I mean... I'm making 2 million profits per month, but I'm still actually losing per hour. It's just the money comes in so fast compared to how much it goes away. I sometimes buy in alloy and stuff like that. 
sometimes I make it. Yeah, but I get this thing, right? I mean, if we go on to this, I think. Yes, right. Okay, so look at this right now. Look at this traffic jam. Now, this is nothing compared to what it used to be. It used to be, see if I've done that, it was a way up this top corner where those trucks are just coming down from now. There's only one way into this city, right? I mean, there's this way here, but that goes to out the map, right? And because of that, pretty much nothing comes in this way and they only go out that way. Crazy. It's, it seems like it's a bad situation here. I can't make alternative ways because I can't go out the city region. So, I took away roads. I mean, there used to be a, a road cut off here. I changed it. There used to be roads cut off pretty much everywhere. I changed it so then I can have the traffic kind of build up through the city. Now, because they updated the game and you can now make bridges, I've got bridges going across. Um, the thing is, I've only made one pull-up part, right? Only one street actually goes up, and then you've got these bridges that go across the the highway, right? So I need to I need to pretty much change this about. I need to get it kind of working fluently. Right now, it's a really bad thing. Now. I was having meteor strikes also, which is again is something that you don't want to be having in your city, but I got two. Caused fires all over the place and people started kind of rioting, so my crime is completely high at the moment. It's crazy that, I mean this used to be all orange, it's see me over here, that still is actually orange. But I've pretty much put out my, my police, I mean I've got 28 police cars, I've got two police helicopters, one prevention, stuff like that. So I need to kind of knock down the crime. Um, I think I'm on top of the the fire. I feel yeah, zero buildings burned down. Medical. A lot of people in my city are sick. That's something that I can't really do anything about. I mean, look at how many people are sick here. Crazy, crazy amount of people are sick. One thousand and twenty people are getting treated out of the 1,293 people that are actually sick, so um, I wish I could do something about it, but the thing is, the air pollution, because of these factories which actually keep my, my city afloat, um, is blowing over this way, the wind, and is pretty much making this part of the city sick. I mean, some people up here, they've kind of got the good life, stuff like that, but um, if we look at the germs map, the, the place is covered and covered in germs, I mean, seriously, covered in germs. Um, the health map, yeah, the, the place is just covered, I mean, the, it's just crazy, right? It's crazy, I need to get on top of it. Look at the grass though, actually look at this grass, it's, it, it's black, it's black grass. If I plant trees here, they're gone by the very next day because of the, the ground pollution just swallows it up, the same with the radiation. So, that's pretty much what this series is about. I mean, I've been talking for now 10 minutes and stuff like that. So, the problems with the city at the moment, we've got a crazy amount of sick people, we've got crime, we've got um, traffic problems. I mean, since I've changed the traffic, it's no longer really trouble here, but instead it's kind of trouble up this area because I've only got that one cut off and then they're going along these tiny streets and stuff like that, so I need to fix it, I might possibly make another kind of cut off, possibly just right here, and then it'll take away some of that traffic and make them be able to come here, because at the moment, everyone's having to go through this way, and it might actually be causing a problem for my trucks. I mean, sometimes this money, like, change is actually up at three, three million, but I did improve my, my police, um, my police force and stuff like that, so yeah. Let's make that, let's see how that works. Is that making it worse? Or is that making it better? Right now we've also got this problem right here. This the city is full of problems, but at the same time, it's doing super well. So I need to try fix it. Okay. Now, where can I put this road leading to? I'm trying to work out a place. See, I can't have it run across there. Right, that's not working either. If 
for some reason this this part of the road right here doesn't link up um i don't actually know why to be perfectly honest but i think it still works right Hopefully that can change the traffic issue a little bit more. I really don't know. I need I need a ton of help with this traffic problems because again it's just it's just crazy. Let's make a little cut off there, try cut down some traffic. It's just the two intersections right here. I don't really know. I don't know. I used to have the road run along here. Look, look at the traffic, it's just building up now. I tried countering the traffic by um making passengers like passenger trains i've got 10,000 people coming in to that station i've got 718 coming into this station that's to try take down this traffic problem doesn't really seem to be doing anything i've also got 24 shuttle uh, buses running i've also got the bus terminal which is taking 5,000 residentials per day and it's taking 4,000 tourists per day crazy i mean big massive traffic problems we need to get on top of them along with the radiation and the crime and stuff like that but i mean we're looking at this imagine that imagine that right look how crazy that is and that again influences the amount of crime and stuff like that because the police cannot get out to these crimes in time and people start to escape same with um ambulances and fire station uh, the fire brigade they cannot get out to these calls quick enough because of the amount of traffic so I need to somehow be able to counter it I just don't know how to go about it so the population I mean it's pretty well for the amount of city that I'm kinda locked to I mean I'm only locked to this kinda area right here because of the amount of radiation no one will move in there I mean it's a death wish if you move in there look how much traffic it's actually building up so bad so so bad Ugh. This bit right here is fine. I mean, there's definitely a traffic problem. Definitely. I don't know. But, that's pretty much this city. I'll go on, I'll quickly show you the other cities before I end this video. Um, so I've got, um, Detroit. Why is this all red here? I don't know. But, this is Detroit. This city, I mean, the reason why it's called Detroit is just because of the, the amount of crime that used to be in this city. Crazy crazy amounts of crime if you thought that last city was bad for crime this one was even worse until I started improving it and stuff like that, but It's crazy. This was my very first city then I went ahead and I tried getting an international airport It caused this city to just go bankrupt right because I was taking out loans and stuff like that that I just could not pay back so it took ages to try to get this city rebuilt and I mean this had a population just about this kind of number to be honest um, when it sank away down. I mean you've got the kind of black bit right here because of the, the coal mine. The wind is actually heading a different direction I'm pretty sure in this city. What way is it heading? Yeah, see so it's not really causing a big problem with these coal mines and stuff like that because they, they just kind of blow out straight away they're not really infecting any houses but I did used to have a ton more of ore and stuff like that because this city is actually covered and ore, no ore map, yeah. So I used to have like ore everywhere, and I used to do a lot with it. But this city also, you're looking at it, it's, it's minus three thousand. It's still going positive because my coal and my metal that's that's keeping this city afloat, right? It's pretty much. It's not a money maker, but at the same time, it's it's just a a decent enough city. Let's look at the crime now. I'm pretty sure I eliminated pretty much all of it. How much? Yeah, zero. So, it used to be crazy, now I'm on top of the crime and it's, it's nothing. But let's see how many sick people we've actually got in this city. Right, so these are kinda, you know, ground pollution. I, I already knew about the ground pollution, that's because of the old factories that used to be there. I do need to clear them up because um, before it gets too out of hand, there's absolutely no radiation here. This city's perfect. Um, the germs, yeah, a few houses um, are getting kind of hit here and there, but it's nothing too bad. Here we've got a trade port, I've actually closed it. Yeah, I mean this city's kind of, it's, it's touch and go, kind of. So, 
Again, this city pretty much gets some sort of traffic problem, nowhere near on the scale of the other one, if I'm honest, but definitely a traffic problem. Yeah, you can see it all starting to build up now, when I go super fast. Um, I don't know, I really need to know how I can counter the, the traffic problems on the outside of the city. I've got a feeling it's just because the intersection right here is, I mean it's two ways, and it's also right at the entrance, so I don't know. Maybe that's in, uh, it's taking like some sort of effect, but let's go on to the next city, and I'll show you. This one's called Twain, I've still to actually name it. It's got 315,000 population, so yeah. It might actually be my highest populated, that or might have one with like 400,000, um, I don't know, but it's a five city region, I own all the, the five cities, I've built all the five cities, and I don't know, I just, I love Sim City. Um, I feel like the, the region should be a bit bigger, I mean, the, if you look outside each of the region, um, I mean, look, that's covered in grass all around it, why can't I build there? Right? So, originally this this city used to be crazy but with like the, the high wealth, whereas now I've actually changed it because I want the population to grow. So, to get your population growth, you want density, um, so therefore you don't want tons and tons of parks everywhere, instead you just take out the parks and they pretty much grow to these little apartment buildings and you, you pretty much make more money. So this one, it pretty much just makes its money from residential and commercial and look, it's just pretty much recent transactions, I'm not making any money from trading or anything like that. If I remember, it's actually not got anything, it's got nothing. Well, it's, it's actually got nothing whatsoever. So, pretty much it's nothing. This traded industry thing right here is just to trade in some, um, you know, some crude oil so then I can actually run, um, run the, the power plant. Apart from that, that's pretty much this city. It's, it just runs itself, pretty much. Quite a good city, but there's still another two, so. That's making its money by itself. Let's go into this one, 349 population, so this is this is the, the highest populated. It's got 250 million. Um, if I remember, this city's not, it wasn't going too great. Um, I was having a tough time, like, trying to balance the residential areas and the, I wanted to, I went and downloaded one of the packs, it was the, uh, a amusements parks so I went and made a massive amusement park put a ton of money into it and I had to close it because it just wasn't making any money whatsoever it, it was going negative every single day it used to be up in this area yeah you can actually see all these little houses down here yeah so this city it's it's making yeah you can see a few gifts in there because I've been gifting from other cities because of how negative this city was going at one point, but residential, commercial, that's making its money, uh, pretty much makes its money by itself, uh, no big deal, so yeah, that's my most populated city, again, I've not named that one properly, now we're on to New York, right, so the reason I went and called this one New York is because it was pretty much a, a tourist city, the Empire State, and it has the Statue of Liberty, so I just named it New York, why not? And this used to be my main moneymaker. This was the one funding Chernobyl when Chernobyl was terrible. This one was funding Detroit when Detroit was terrible. This one, again, was just the one that kind of kept it afloat. So, this city, there used to be a big stadium right here. I got rid of the stadium. This city actually lags quite a lot if I turn it on a ultra. So I won't be doing that in this video, but how does this city make its money? You've got the city specialization, right? And this city specialization is gambling, right? That's making 76,000 day profit. Um, there's another casino right here, 12,000. Is there not enough? Yeah, there's another casino, 12,000 again. Um, we've got another casino over here, which is 117,000. Um, 54,000. Is there any more? I'm pretty sure there's one actually over the back somewhere. One down here. Somewhere. 
I don't know, but it's pretty much a gambling city, put it that way. Um, I make all my money pretty much from gambling. Um, they go crazy popular for some reason, and I felt like that was a way I could make money. So, Statue of Liberty's here, that's making money. I mean, it's made 64000 today. I've also got the Willis Tower, which has made 75000 yesterday, 57000 today. And we've got the Empire State which has made 87,000 today and 127,000 yesterday so again this city actually used to be a one that was heavily focused on the it used to be heavily focused on the high wealth I changed that because I wanted population so again you can still see that it's kind of high wealth in fact I might have actually kept it kind of high wealth I'm unsure but let's look at the land value High, high land value right here, it's low over here, this place is just kind of, you know, it's just for the kind of industry area because the wind actually blows that way and therefore it's not polluting all this area over here, but yeah. So this is the, the city that's um, made to be making money, but it's not making money in the same way that Chernobyl is. Chernobyl is the complete money maker out there. I mean, how much is this one getting per hour or monthly? 354,000 which is a good enough money, amount of money, but at the same time nothing compared to Chernobyl, right? Chernobyl, even though it's a wreck of a city, it's making money and that's the pretty much the only good thing about it, right? I mean as long as I've got 78 million, I think, is it 78 million? Over 70 million anyway, yeah near enough 78 million, um, as long as I've got that amount, this city can kind of recover from anything that's get thrown at it, right? I mean, if this city eventually is completely covered in ground pollution, I can rebuild, right? It might take a bit of time, I've got the money behind me to actually go ahead and recover this city, so apart from that, that's really the video, right? Drop a like in this video, I've just shown you all my five cities, I've shown you what the problems are with this one, the other ones aren't really heavily problems, but again, they could probably do with improvements, but this is the road to recovery. We're going to get this city back on top of its feet where the, the radiation's completely gone, the ground pollution's completely gone. It's just, I'm wanting to push out the last of the money from the ground, and then after that, we can go ahead and we can we can buy the DLC and start to clear up the, the ground pollution and the radiation, right? As soon as all that's gone, we can then get the residential moving in, and this city will just be pretty much like the other ones and it's not really money focused, I mean the, the money is a high amount of money right now, it's 78 million near enough, 77 million um, and it's, it's just definitely, it's able to fund all the cities, right, it could fund all of them if any of them were to have a money problem, it's, it's definitely up there, one of my favourite cities even though it's had a massive catastrophe, it's, it's going to recover, right, I don't know how to fix this this um, traffic problem. Please, if any of you know what's the problem with this traffic, leave a comment. I really need to know exactly what's wrong with this traffic patterns. I mean, it's before they even get into the city and the traffic's building up. I need to know how I can I can fix that factor and stuff like that. I mean, I really need to. Please help me out. So apart from that, thank you all for watching. Till next time. Goodbye for now. Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, also. Um, drop a like in the video, subscribe for even more content, apart from that, bye for now.